Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am sure and thanks for giving me support and please subscribe if you like my videos. This video is related to a rivet coordination, how we can do it and you can see here lot of pipes and the ducts and even the cable tray also going. So how we can coordinate these things I will show you. So this is some mis misarrangement for all the systems. This is a small exercise for the new beginners. So I will go for a go to view the section section view and uh, if you can see here lot of uh, pipes are clashing and misarrangements of the systems and everything so how we can arrange this one so i am just going to the 3d view of this one of this one just select this one and go to section box otherwise you can type uh, bx so you can see uh, the systems are not uh, properly arranged in the cable trace also it was not arranged so how we can do these things i will show you in the video before that we can just uh, give some filter filter for this whole systems so go to here vv and filter and just add the systems whichever you have so i'm just adding this one and uh, one hydraulic mm, yeah just adding this one cold water hydraulic no it's a, just added that one and uh, we will have that uh, filter options from here for for example supply duct i'm just giving um, green color and in the shaded also in the pattern also just i'm giving uh, solid fill and the green color and that's fine and here also you can give the green color so that was done click ok and the return here we just uh, need to show the blue colors so here i am just uh, selecting solid fill this is a filter option so i'm just giving like this and even uh, the exhaust duct i'm just uh, giving another color another this color another which color is uh, they use it here just need to check that one mm, yeah the magenta so just need to be solid fill and just give a magenta color uh, for 3d views and you can use uh, as a template also that one uh, no worry so this is the uh, this is the way so we'll just need to be uh, filter and here just give a uh, override for click ok and here the line also we can just give a view uh, uh, for the line weight and here you can give a proper color the line also just give a four and click ok apply ok so this will be uh, perfectly done and even the cable tray also we can give some filters add the filter and just give like this and the cable tray and i am just giving the color for cable tray uh, this color and uh, the line weight i'm just giving four and here you can just give a solid fill and uh, some other color like uh, this color i can use for the cable tray so you can filter is clearly this one and uh, how we can arrange this one so this one some some pipe fittings also there so you can add already we have added that one so this one is the um, hydronic supply so we will just uh, uh, added that one also here some hydronic supply and uh, hydronic okay i can give the color for that one uh, some solid fill i can give the color for uh, this color and apply okay so you can see here all the uh, supplies are coming and uh, some firefighting pipe also here okay anyway just uh, you can give whatever color you like so i how we can arrange this one that is what i'm showing and i have one made it one section for example we can do from here the center the corridor area so we'll start from this area and then we'll see how it's look so i just uh, made it one section and i stretch it up to here and go to view so this one we can see the pipes are here right so you can move this one from the keyboard arrow and first we can uh, put the cable tray in the right right side here top or you can put it that one in middle of the here or something like that okay i'm, I'm preferring from here and they just uh, make the distance from the top uh, we can say like uh, 200 mm down just 200 mm down you just put it, put it that one and this duct we can put it also in the uh, right side above and uh, just give some distance from the wall 150 at least 
okay then then it will come like this and even the cable tray also like that so you can make maybe you can make it little bit uh, 100 mm yeah from the tray and this pipes uh, distance also we can uh, arrange it so from here we can just uh, say this pipe to this pipe just uh, give 150 mm gap 150 just give 150 uh, no 150 not so just uh, we can say like uh, this much distance and same level you need to put it this one i will align it align uh, just uh, need to be same level we need to put it okay so for example i'm just copying this level 3200 and i'm putting that one uh, here to 3200 okay then give some space for the uh, that one just give a space so i'm just uh, giving this one wire uh, uh, hidden line sorry hidden lines okay so if you are unchecking this one so you can clearly see this one line type and this uh, this pipe also i just need to be give like this and we can just uh, uh, move this one little bit up from here like this so now this part is completed and you can see how it's look in the 3d view so it's what was clearly uh, done that one and even the cable tray is clashing with the um, our uh, our uh, duct right so how we can arrange in the 3d view itself you can make the uh, sections so i will just go here and uh, uh, we just need to be this one is back and just uh, need to move this one little bit side to the wall so you can see it will be clear clear for if you can make uh, sections also like this okay so just move like this and uh, we can see how it's work all the things now this is clear right so he even in another side also you need to check so you can easily give the supports and everything uh, for the pipes and everything and here also better to make a sections then then you can arrange it um, so we will copy this section and just to, otherwise you can move the sections from here and put over here and just to rotate it this one as 90 degree 90 degree and then um, just need to be do the same way go to view and i'm just stretching up to here go to view so now the this part is okay and even this duct is going um, away from here and just uh, we can we can close to this uh, duct uh, we will move like this and uh, even you can put it above this duct okay so some gap required like uh, if you have a space so then uh, we can give like uh, 100 mm gap or 150 200 mm gap at least so we can just say like uh, put it here and just uh, in one support it will be going okay so 200 oh, sorry 200 mm from the top of this duct 2200 so you can arrange like this so easily you can arrange it this one and you can go to the 3d view so wherever you are getting so now you can see some clashes with the, uh, the duct and uh, this one this area so you can uh, adjust that one uh, in the 3d view itself so here you can arrange this one align to this this duct so it will be solved and even this cable tray is clashing right and you can make it that cable tray down or up better i think uh, you can make it up this one little bit so from here we can up make it up this cable tray totally the cable tray is clashing with the uh, the structure so here it, it this part is okay but here you from come here means uh, it is clashing so we can do one thing we can split the cable tray from here and uh, just need to be make it some heights over here so how what you can do you can go to the uh, mechanical area and uh, we just need to go to this one and select the cable tray and mechanical so he's this area is uh, difficult for that and we can we can uh, uh, rotate this section again 90 degree 90 degree okay then i uh, just need to be take uh, sections from here go to view and see now the cable tray is clashing right so you can just move this one uh, a little bit up of uh, from the uh, from the duct and first you need to install maybe he in this area this kind of area 
this one and here you can just make it 200 yep and even the pipes also clashing over here so this one we need to check it so now our cable tray is uh, uh, done and then you can just give a uh, some like uh, some connection so just keep connection so automatically the bend will come so that will be going up and even the pipe also perfectly going over here but here it was clashing right so what we need to do we we just need to be uh, up the uh, duct or up, up, the, up the ducts from here like little bit uh, I will just align with the this one just align with this duct to this duct to this duct and then these two ducts we can move it little bit up same like this way so this was perfectly okay and if you go to the 3d view now we can see all the pipe is comfortably going uh, and even the duct also going pro properly uh, like that so this is the way like in the 3d you can make the uh, uh, and even the cable tray also here is clashing with this duct right so here is no clash but here will be clashes with the, this duct and uh, so you can do one thing you can um, anyway there will be uh, some uh, height is required right so we need to uh, we need to move the cable tray right side this side having a space so you just need to move the cable tray from here like wall from from the wall 100 mm and now the clash uh, is free right but here you need you need to uh, have some issues with the cable tray so we will we will do one thing i think this this cable tray you can just delete this fittings you can delete it and here uh, this cable tray we can connect with the with this two so below the cable tray the cable, cable tray is coming below and uh, you just need to connect with this one so go here and uh, there will be one cable tray so just uh, trim it this one trim this two sorry and uh, how we can connect it so just uh, need to be connect otherwise you can keep it this one up to here the cable tray and this one you can close it like that and uh, you can draw the cable tray and uh, connecting to this one uh, no it will it will not work so just connecting this one this much and uh, just change this one draw cable tray up to here and connect it so say so there will be some problem so just drop a uh, um, cable tray like this and uh, just give a service type uh, uh, ct1 ct-1 so same color will come and we need to make one sections over here so that is the better way so if you are uh, making sections and uh, this one just need to flip it and uh, move the section up to here and just go to view see this one is a small space so that is what it was not uh, fixing so just to create similar and uh, service type is ct1 and just give like 45 uh, 45 angle 45 angle and just to trim trim with this one so automatically what will happen uh, that cable tray is connected like this so you can bend it that one otherwise if you have a space above so you can arrange it that one otherwise we can do below this duct the cable tray so anyway that uh, that is as per your uh, requirements and everything normally we will doing the kind of uh, coordination like this so if you like my video please subscribe my channel so you can clearly see all the space is accommodated and uh, cable trays and everything ducts are uh, coming properly and uh, the clashes with the door and uh, wall you need to check it so here i think some clashes with the walls so that we need to avoid it so for example here you just just need to be move the uh, duct from little bit and even the cable tray also clashing means you can align uh, with the cable tray and uh, if you have some other clash finding you just solve it like this this way 
So this is simple exercise for new beginners. So how to do the coordinations and everything. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel. It's totally related to AutoCAD and Revit. And uh, if you have some comments and everything, just uh, support me. And, and please watch all other videos also. Please support me. Thanks for watching. Thank you.